Salute to ATM Tim. I want to make this video because um, I saw where JT sent ATM Tim his $5,000 back. We got late breaking news. Trap flicks, Africa, JT, the bigger figure, has issued ATM Tim his $5,000 refund. Um, ATM Tim recently apologized per Trap Flicks request, per JT's request. He had to apologize to um, Tisha Boo, which is JT's wife. He had to apologize to JT's children for the disrespect that was issued uh, to JT and his family. ATM Tim apologized, and as a result, it appears that JT has issued the refund to ATM Tim. Now, what I want to say is this. I want to say is, I think it's nothing wrong with apologizing to your brothers. There's nothing wrong with, you're going to have differences. You're going to have, um, you're going to have conflict. There's something called good conflict. Good conflict, it exists, okay? Uh, let me, something called good conflict. Good conflict exists. We want to make this video to say salute to JT, the bigger figure, for, for finding it in his spirit and his soul to say, let me pay this man, um, ATM Tim back his money and also salute ATM for acknowledging that he may have handled the business a little sloppy. He may have handled the business of him purchasing land in Kenya. He may have been a little unprofessional in how he went about it because the land was real. It was just the method that he went about purchasing it and the method that he went about getting a remedy. Now, in the original video I made, I said, JT, handle this behind the scenes because I knew that the public um i knew that the damage would be uh it would be high if you, if, you, if you try to go publicly with this and try to handle this like oh get it in blood get that macho energy is not gonna it's not gonna give a good result so in the very first video i made i said jt just apologize and handle this behind the scenes because i understood that it was more power in the trap flicks family being united and in the perception of the trap flicks family and the um fillmore africa family being united originally jt didn't and he he didn't listen to that he said no get it in blood for apologizing no 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 but over some time, over some months, I feel like JT realized that the public perception was way too too detrimental, was way more detrimental than just issuing the refund. So he issued the refund because he understood that publicly it wasn't a good look. And even if a, there is an open civil case, it looks better for any open civil case to make sure that you have any disputes resolved because you don't want that to pile on to your civil case. That's, I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking from an opinion. That's not facts, okay? Um, but what I want to say is this. What I want to say is this. All of the allegations that have been levied against JT, the bigger figure, um, which is some egregious allegations about Baby Lucy being the scam, about leaving Africans, or excuse me, leaving Black Americans stranded at the airport in Kenya, and not answering your phone, and and doing and doing just horrible business. No man is perfect. If it's true, it's true. But I do respect the fact that JT is making an effort to right his wrongs. We gotta, we gotta admit this. The battles were being won by the ATM Tims, the Cuz Cuddies. The battles were being won, but it is appearing that JT is winning the war. It is appearing that JT is winning the war. And I just wanna say that, um, I wanna say that JT is very smart and intelligent. This is chess, not checkers. Salute to JT for giving ATM Tim back his refund. Salute ATM Tim for making that apology and acknowledging that he did handle his business of purchasing land in Africa sloppy and unprofessional. And also, I want to say, um, get like Cuz Cuddy issuing out JT's mom's address or saying that it's for sale issuing out jt's address that may be just from a man who is feel, who is desperate when a man is desperate when a man is feel like he has nothing else to lose these are the type of actions they will resort to so we can't knock cuddy for that because who knows his level of hurt his level of um desperation to where he feels like this may be one of his only opportunities to, to reach JT and hit it, hit him where it hurts. Um, overall, um, overall, I think that this is a learning experience. I think this is a learning experience. 
Am I rocking with JT 100%? So, I mean, at the end of the day, I just wanna say real, recognize real. If I can make a video questioning JT's um, honor, I have to make a video to salute JT's honorable action. I'm a fair man. I'm a fair man. JT sent that man back his refund, which is ATM Tim. I respect that. It's much peace and blessings on that man's endeavor. No man is perfect but Christ. So I'm not expecting JT to be perfect. That breeze feels so good. I'm not expecting JT to be perfect, but we just want you to be honorable. In this world where everything is, you know, where, 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 where deceit and, and dishonesty is at an all time high, we just respect the honorable man. And that's what I always view JT as, an honorable man. Did he get lost in the sauce possibly? Who, it happens, he's human. But he is, he's on a journey to make things right. And he even said he was gonna send Cuz Cuddy $1,500. If it's true, that's their business. But I wanna say as a spectator, as somebody who, you know, honored and, and, and respected JT, I think this is a great look for him to, for him to reach down into his higher self and say, you know what? This get it in blood attitude ain't it. This get it in blood attitude is not productive. It's not going to produce anything but a get it in blood result. So respect to JT, respect to Film on Africa, respect to Traflix because at the end of the day, you're showing that you can rise above the, um, you can rise above it. You can rise above all the negativity. You can rise above the pride. That's the word. You can rise above your own ego and pride of saying, I'm not giving no money you to make. But no, you, you actually have made the decision to issue that man back his refund. And um, I think that's an honorable thing. So I'm going to salute. I'm no salute. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings to the homie JT, to Traflix Africa. You know, continue to make amends with your brothers. Continue to make amends with your brothers. Nobody ain't actually physically put no hurt on you. So any, it should all, you should be able to come back from it all. If a man say some, if, if a man like Cuz Cuddy say something to you like, I got your mama address for sale out of anger and hurt and he ain't actually put it out for sale. He hasn't actually sold it. It may not be too late. It may not be too late for y'all to make amends. We're not saying y'all gotta be best friends. We ain't saying y'all gotta be buddy buddy, but I think respect always should be automatic. We gotta have respect for each other unless it's, what do we got? So I'm not gonna be long. I wanna just make this video to say um, much peace and blessings, prosperity to everybody on their journey to staying righteous, to everybody on their journey to making an impact in this world. And that was a very, very, very powerful move JT the bigger figure made by paying ATM Tim. And if there's other people in line, continue on your journey. If Cuz Cuddy is next, continue on. If you do, if you know you owe Cuz Cuddy some money, continue on it. Pay, make, make right. It's never too late to make, to turn your wrongs right. To make amends with your wrongs and turn it right. So I'm just making this video to say, I see you, JT. I see you, ATM Tim. And the journey must continue. The, 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 um, the movement must continue to be built. With that being said, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think JT just did that because the RICO case is pending and he wants to do as much as he can to make the RICO look as innocent as possible? Or do you think JT genuinely, do you think JT genuinely is, 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 is feeling like he needs to make this shit right? What, are your, what is your opinion on it? Overall, we gotta keep grinding. The sun don't shine forever. Better now than never. Business before pleasure. Over and out. Peace, blessings, we out.